fingers crossed we are hoping that we will get that very good news that we all have been waiting for for the last 11 days uh, within the next few hours itself probably by tomorrow morning or by tomorrow afternoon we are expecting in fact the rescue is also expecting that they will be able to successfully get all these people out who are stuck inside at this point in time the biggest update that we are bringing to our viewers is that the auger machine which had started wo working late last night has finally been able to dig through the debris and almost 34 meters of debris has been dug through which means that six pipes have already gone inside uh, the welding process for the seventh pipe is underway at this point in time whereas uh, if you talk about the entire length of the debris that is being predicted at this point in time uh, by the rescuers is that is of 54 meters so approximately 20 more meters needs to go through the work is ongoing in full swing I'll just try and show you in the visuals uh, you can see over here the work is absolutely going on in full swing the welding process has already started within the next few hours the seventh pipe will also also be pushed in which means uh, that the the, the length uh, of the debris uh, the drilling length of of the pipes would reach somewhere around the 40 meters mark so yes a lot of work is ongoing the breakfast uh, the breakfast this morning has also been given to the workers on the other hand if you talk about the other plants the border order organization has successfully been able to build the entire road to the uh, to the vertical top from where the drilling process could start but yes that could still take a lot of time uh, but keep that uh, keep that aside the biggest ray of hope the light at the end of tunnel is certainly certainly getting brighter we are hoping to get that very good news very very quickly very very soon the workers inside who are working relentlessly to make sure that this rescue operation is completed at the earliest they are also very very optimistic C certainly uh, a sense a sense of happiness and a sense of positive uh, positivity is something that can be sensed in the air uh, over here because remember the time uh, when the auger machine broke down uh, uh, and the work was stopped there was definitely a lot of gloom over here uh, and hence uh, over the last two days the engineers over here have worked around the clock made sure that the entire structuring inside the tunnel is done and post that uh, the uh, drilling, uh, drilling process also starts it, it took almost 50 uh, 50 to 60 hours for them to actually prepare the entire ground and post that this operation that has now started is going on in full swing but still finger, fingers crossed there still is no issue but uh, no issues that, that they have encountered at this point in time but yes the last 20 meters is something that is the most crucial out of this 20 meter at least the last 10 meters is something that is the most crucial part of this operation because remember there could be heavy machineries that could come in the way of the of the pipes that are being drilled in uh, but yes the uh, the analysis has been done the electromagnetic analysis and the uh, geophysics analysis of the debris has been done and the rescuers are hopeful that they will be able to negate through those machines as well uh, so yes the next few hours is going to be very very crucial approximately uh, till the 45 meter mark is where the rescuers expect that they could encounter problems once that 45 meter mark is crossed then the road ahead is definitely going to be very very easy for them uh, so yes the next 10 meters that is going to be drilled through now that is going to be the most crucial part of this entire operation which means over the next five to six hours is the time uh, when we are expecting that this entire or uh, this entire drilling through the uh, 10, 10 meter of debris is going to get completed and post that uh, the the remaining part of the debris is going to be an easy terrain is what the uh, re rescuers ex expect at this point in time now since it is becoming more and more optimistic for the people for the rescuers that these people would be taken out safely and at the earliest and that is the reason why the administration has now uh, put uh, put on standby at least 20 ambulances and if required if the situation of any, anyone who is inside the uh, tunnel uh, is not good then uh, 40 ambulances could also be brought in the work for that has also started at least 20 ambulances have been put on standby at this point in time so at least the last nine days in fact out of the 11 days the last nine days was very troublesome there was a lot of anger amongst the family members because they did not feel that any sort of work was happening because the work that was happening was not of the drilling but of a structuring uh, that was going on inside the tunnel and that was something very very scientific and technical and definitely the kind of emotions that these people had uh, you can't blame them for not not understanding that but since the first visuals have come to the fore a strong communication line has been established these people are being allowed to speak to their family members who are, who are stuck inside the confidence has definitely definitely increased and as it as i told you the there is a sense of optimism now that within the next few hours all of them would be taken out safely and we can uh, we can expect 
uh, that the uh, and that is what the family members also expect at this point in time. The, their body language has definitely changed over the last uh, 24 hours, I should say, and uh, uh, definitely the kind of pro progress that has been made at this point in time is something that should be cherished. But yes, uh, fingers crossed. We are still hoping uh, that the next 10 meters uh, that needs to be drilled through that can be done uh, with all safety and at the earliest post that the good news is not the, such a far-fetched idea.